Ladies and gentlemen, technical difficulties be damned. Cock Talk episode three. We are here. We've made it. Uh, we promised you about 20 minutes ago, but we're here now. We are good to go. Same crew as always. Yeah. We have an, and we're on live now. We got it set up. Now it's loaded in, so it'll be. So we should be able to just load in and click it, and good to go. Blake has a real microphone, so we yeah. actually seem like a real, real group now. So here we are. We have we have our guy Blake at Waddle Waddle Racing Coop did it, got and it. then uh, <laughs> nailed Josh, it. Josh with Grateful Coops, and nope. then myself, MBF Express Tyler. We are ready to go here. We're ready to talk a little bit about. Um, Probably starting with just a little bit of breakdown of how things are going right now with the marketplace, how things are going with our snipes, a little bit of uh, a little bit of interesting uh, things happening on the marketplace, even though we see some things dropping, some things rising. But all in all, it seems still seems pretty healthy. And um, I'm still feeling bullish, guys. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I've been doing a little sniping. <laughs> what do you, you guys? What do you, what do you guys got this week? Any any? Uh... Well, I'd like to do a little a little shout out to uh, at Open Sea Potatoes. Um, <laughs> it seems like uh, once a week or twice a week, somebody decides to just absolutely fire sale their entire um, uh, rotation. And this one of the guys, potatoes, just Josh found it first. He just dropped like three different birds for point zero point zero two. Yep. <clears throat> and Josh just bought them because, of course, you're going to buy them right off the bat. Oh, yeah. And after the fact, he finds out it's a Sultan. And, 92. And it's de devolution. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I got a, a 92 devolution Sultan, another 92 Sultan with the, 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 purple, the purple coat, and then a uh, 94 Lackenvelder. It was great. So, na so naturally, I'm pissed because I missed them all. Well, and I, I did. <laughs> I did drop it in the Coop Collective chat. I said, "Birds for a point oh two go go or Sultans for point oh two yeah. run run run." <laughs> and then I just well, was like, "What am I doing?" I just went and bought them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get it. You know, yeah, you see it. Go get it. That's I had to. I could not pass that up. So I mean, I that devolution <laughs> floor for a ninety two Sultan is, I mean, around point four. I mean, I totally lucked out and struck lightning there. Yeah, I saw someone strange. in the. Oh, go ahead. Because they still had a bunch of. They still the guy still had a bunch of birds, so I wasn't really sure if he just like saw something and was like, "Oh, I need to sell things immediately." Although most of those birds would have sold immediately just at the floor, the regular floor, instead of undercutting the floor. Oh gosh. Um, so I, mean, he I went, needed it now. Yeah, so I went in and I was like, you know what? I'm going to see what other birds he has, and <laughs> he has like a '96 Lackenvelder. Uh, and it has an uncommon trait, and I'm just like, well, I'm just going to throw an offer at him for 0.02, and about 20 minutes later, he accepted it. So, <laughs> so I was like, okay, now I'll try it for the Sultan, and then he caught on, and then he posted that one for uh, floor value. Nice. I think there's uh, something to that sniping strategy, though, is if you find somebody that is dumping, you know, go make some low offers. If they're, people look, people, they're looking to get out, you know, might as well put them in the hands of a holder. Right. Uh, but yeah. yeah, that's a legitimate way. Like it's a little crazy, and I don't. Not everyone has the job to be doing that. Um, I'm lucky enough to be self-employed, where I can just be like that and jump on there and take like half an hour and just refresh, refresh until I see someone doing that. But yeah, that's that's kind of what's happening right now. Is that there's just a certain percentage of people that saw an opportunity with the, the chicken derby and. They don't really know what it is. Maybe they have no intention of racing, or maybe it just uh, at one point seemed like something they wanted, and now it's not. So well, they are I dumping. I think they start FOMOing into these other projects. You know? Oh, yeah. I mean, Rocket Tom Sachs rocket launch Shut up. drop was a good Shut day. up. Ugh. I don't want to hear about yeah, rockets. Yeah, it's okay. We lost don't some gas. About. It's all right. But things like that. <laughs> people, people look into the thing that's not giving them any utility and currently chickens as of right now aren't giving us the racing utility but it's right around the corner so i think people are kind of short-sighted on the chickens yeah uh, but I'm i always like... had the expectations of what they've been telling us two to right. three months and we should be you know having things up and running or at least the ball rolling yeah but nft space you know a month long is like I'm I'm at the point where uh, yes, as soon as as soon as we missed that on the Tom Sachs uh, rocket launch and uh, like you know, Josh didn't get a patch. I got a patch. He and then so we had the early access. 
and he sends me the money. So I'm going to do two. And we did all, we did all this crap last night to make sure we were set up properly. And then I just didn't put enough gas. I thought I did enough. I thought I did fine. And I didn't. And I was like, I'm not chasing these things anymore. I'm done. And it's not true. I'll chase them. I'll chase another one. I know I will, but there's people that are way worse than me. There's people chasing all of them. So yeah, don't, don't be fearful. If you see these people dumping, this happened two weeks ago as well. And we had a guy in our chat that was worried about it falling and it's not. Yeah. No, I, well, I mean, that, that's like you said, it's more, I'm just focused on chicken. So I don't even want to know about those other projects just to keep my mind out of them. You know, if you know about them, then you're more chance you're going to hop into some or want to. Oh yeah. The FOMO is real. The FOMO will come get you. <laughs> Focus on chickens. But yeah, all in all, um, you know, we're still sitting at somewhere between like zero, uh, 0 0.0245 or zero, but basically 0 0.025 is where we're looking at as a floor. Uh, and then as soon as we get into anything that's anything that's remotely worthy, we're basically looking at 0 0.05. As soon as we get into like the 96, 97 per perfection scores, um, the, the, the uncommon talent has actually gone up a little bit. The rare floor fell just a touch. It was at, it was at 0 0.09 last week. It's at 0 0.7, 0 0.075. Sultans are still being disrespected for some strange reason. Uh, they're, they're only twice as much right now as Lackenvelders. Yeah. And, and when you look at the numbers, that doesn't quite make sense. No. So Not when there's yeah. only around five. I think there's 5,000 of them. I mean, you think about it. There, when 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 you get out when when you're outpriced of the spicy sarama here when race time comes, what's the next bird up to bat? It's going to be the sultans and whatever floor those saramas hit. Uh, you know the sultans are probably going to hit the floor of where the saramas are now. You know, roughly or maybe even higher. Right. I think ultimately it's going to be higher. I mean. I I think the floor of what it is, like the Sultans now, may be the dorking floor. In yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, start. you're I right. Think, I, again, not that not that we know or have any clue because, you know, it, it, things could change rapidly. You know. Yeah, sense, but. but you know, there's a lot of projects where you worry about the floor, and when you really look at how many chickens are available to be purchased, you start to get a little bit of a of, of a of better picture here and then you see how many are actually under mint and i think it's only about 50 or 60 that are actually under mint and they're all 90s yeah they're all yeah. 90s 91s and and if they are 93 or better if they are an uncommon talent they get bought yeah, yeah. they yeah. don't last you long can't, you can't yeah i mean uh, I, you know what I think the most underrated thing is is one of my snipes that i picked up the other day is those these these kind of birds these ones right here that i can see above them, <laughs> you know the stripes Oh yeah, I think the stripes are gonna be the, one of the more underrated aspects of the chickens. Well, That's Josh, we we were talking about that, right? And Josh started sending me over racing stripes on cars. Yep. Hey, think about it. I mean, if it's a racing game, these chickens got uh, some of these chickens got stripes. Maybe they're like muscle cars. They got racing stripes or muscle chickens. <laughs> you can, I mean, if, if somebody's new getting in, you can. I mean, I got a striped chicken for what point. 035 the other day i think i saw the the floor on stripe is 0 0.07 because i was thinking about getting one earlier today i got one last night <laughs> yeah they're definitely the best looking chicken um and some of them are really sharp like i mean the one the one blake has there is great i mean even though it looks like cincinnati Bengals and eh, okay. the lackenvelder the, <laughs> the, cool, the, the straight green lackenvelder with the white stripes right looks pretty that cool one's, with a white really tick dope. comb and waddle yeah yeah <laughs> this is that one halloween is... we've not cincinnati Bengals. this is my halloween chicken okay sorry yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will not associate uh waddle waddle with you're, uh your tight your chicken Dalton. just your, your chicken just think is it's a tiger it's all but yeah look <laughs> at this salt and floor 0. 0.042 and i mean yeah these are 90s but think about it they they're the next they're the next priceable option that people are going to gravitate to when the Saramas are out of range when the Saramas are probably like a half an eth floor or hell if if this blows up like everybody thinks it's gonna when racing starts those things could see a one eth floor there's not there's only 2000 spicy Saramas i mean 
Yeah, it's going to be sought you know, after to when, breed with. When you start saying Genesis, when you start, like, you know, and confirmed, like 100% confirmed that these are the only spices. You will not be able to breed a spicy. This is it. Mm -hmm. So that's a big one. That's can, something that really just kind of should be a, a, a complete alteration to whatever plan you were thinking if you were unsure of if even if there was a small chance that two spices could create a spicy that is not happening this is it this is literally like you know indiegogo gofundme we are ground floor we are the distributors we we, we are very much almost taking a, a piece of this company and saying yeah we're going to distribute all the rest of the chickens to everybody else who comes in by way of our bloodline to begin with and if that doesn't hype you up for wanting more of these then um you know you're i don't know i don't have to tell you i mean look at these i'm pulling up the saramas right now the sarama floor is currently 0.18 and the and the two chickens on floor were purchased for 0.242 i mean those people are trying to get liquid and and no one's buying because everybody's already bought as many chickens as they can, and they're probably waiting for mint, which is, by the way, we're told at the end of August. So, I mean, these prices could keep coming down if you're yeah, looking so, to, to pick up some decent birds before this really picks up steam. Yeah, so we have a month. We have a month, and it's... That is a lifetime. I, I, I used to I used to remember just, just when I was on Top Shot, that was a lifetime. But now, the, with the way that these uh, new avatars come out. And now you're starting to see some other projects that are coming together. You know, that, that Tom Sachs rocket uh, rocket launch was interesting because it was, yeah, you know, it was, you had to build a rocket with three different parts and there was different um, uh, brands that were actually, you know, they actually signed a contract and had li licensing with these brands and you had to build your brand rocket. And I think this was insane. You know, the, the Apple one, which only had one sold for 18 ETH. So there's, there's interesting things happening now beyond the avatars. There's people getting a little more creative. So you might see people bail a little bit. So I'm just trying to be patient. What's the utility on those after the fact, after these, you get the Apple rocket and then what? Not sure. I mean, I mean, you can I, launch it. I'm not sure where you can launch it, but you can launch it somewhere. Launch it to the moon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, can launch, you can launch your Apple Rock with my ch my chicken wins its championship race in the background, and then explode. Yeah. Like, maybe you, yeah, maybe you can uh, put the jetpack on, and you can actually cut a deal there because that was that was something that was cool. I actually went back and, and watched a um, a video that uh, at Ben Jamin did with uh crypto poppy and um and what what i'm assuming was chicken apex and they were talking about possibilities of even like bringing in these avatars to sit on top of our chickens like bored apes sitting on top of the chickens at, at, at some point and that actually beating uh like your actual your jockey which seems like that's what the animals are going to be so these airdrops are seemingly going to be our jockeys now, that's at least that's at least the gist I'm getting from that. All right, so check this out. You get a board ape. Now, we're three different chicken owners, right? We're all in the same race. Do you get to pick which jockey you want on your chicken? And do different jockeys have better traits on certain chickens than others? Now you're really getting it. I mean, that sounds really deep, but <laughs> <laughs> You got a big fat yeah. tinfoil hat on over there. <laughs> yeah, that's where that's where the that's Kinda where like like, like I you'd love to see that as like a gaming nerd, but you yeah, know, when, when, and I would I would obviously love to see that kind of thing, well, but like I think just these can all be the same, and if they're all board apes, no people one board ape may be better than the next board ape. Or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, but the only the only thing you touch on there is that then you're doing a little bit of pay to win. Like, how much can you pay up to no, have a better jockey? A little bit. Saying, like, there yeah. will be better jockeys. I mean, maybe it's part of the algorithm where if you don't match up the chicken with the right jockey, you don't have Okay, yeah, that's it. right. You know? You no, know, I follow. Yeah, yeah. Especially the ones, I, I'd say, especially for the ones that are going to airdrop to us. Like, that was more like talking about like in the future if they yeah. could cut a deal with board apes and yeah, allow yeah, people yeah. to actually bring I, this they because they own the likeness that's the greatest yeah. thing about nfts yeah, no, you I, own I these. Yeah. It, right i see yeah. it more so that they would drop us a jockey type of you know rather than part before we partner with somebody else but maybe, but it would be interesting you know. yeah to see oh, if, yeah, if the different true. animal actually does affect the racing at all yeah. Um, because why not? Why not make it as, as complicated and fun as possible in that regard? Because, you know, this is meant to be 
this is meant to be fun. Like it's meant to be serious and there's serious money to be made. It's also meant to be a little sillier. It's also meant to be something that uh, appeals to more people that maybe kids start seeing and they like it. Like, Oh, they see dad doing it. And it's like, Oh, that's cool. And it just, it just perpetuates it further and further. And especially once they, uh, as they, they want this to be on an app, they want this to be on Google. They want it to be on Apple. They want it to be seamless on apps and that's that's huge for me making this a mobile game that's gonna be dangerous for me <laughs> but it's, it's still a huge part of it that i'm really interested in seeing how that turns out for sure so so yeah think- um into breeding i think that's where we want to oh. focus the early part here oh do you have something else josh first are we going to go through talents or should we deep dive into that breeding theories that we've uh since we've gotten a little more information from chicken derby apex and asked of mods blake and i were actually having a debate over how the generations would work and if there'd be more spices or not and yeah i want to hear you guys kind of go at this and then i'll, I'll chime when i can as well, i know I you you guys are diving into it, this oh it was just kind of funny because him and I like were going, we were, we're, we're, you know, we were having a debate and for everything that he said, I'd have something back and he'd have something yeah. back after that. And then all of a sudden someone's like, let's just go ask somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and it was settled <laughs> just like yeah. that. Uh, yeah, and I was like, good. shit, we should have just asked. <laughs> yeah. But it's fun to speculate and hear different theories and different. Oh, for know, sure. Because at the end of the day, it could have went either way. Right. right, but the but the news of hearing that there is, there these are the only spices. These three thousand three hundred thirty or blah, wow, I can't even talk. Thirty three thousand three hundred thirty three spicy chickens only, ever, mm-hmm. forever, ever. That's huge. That that forever, that, ever. that in itself, if people were listening and paid attention to that, there would not be any anything under mint, and shouldn't be anything close to mint, right? If the game is going to progress, then nothing should be. It, it should the be old, 0. 0.05, 0. 0.06. You'd right think now. so. The old, with, I think the only thing that's happening there is just it's just you know here we go again with puns. It's just a little bit of a game of chicken because I'm looking at a lot of these and I mean Josh is sending me texts all day. I'm sending him texts, showing him these different ones, saying what do you think? Like you you see what the next one up is. You're like wow, there's a gap there. Yep. You know floor smashing, but you got to be careful with floor smashing because sometimes that floor is, is, there's a lot of people that just simply aren't like I don't have a single chicken on the marketplace right now. You know and, and I might at some point, but only if I see an opportunity to. Put post one but still we're all kind of looking at this like ah we think they're going to keep dropping and the patient ones will be patient so there is going to be a surge and when it's when it's a surge i think chicken derby apex actually said it when he saw that gary v started following him and it was um it 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 it, it, it was like steadily and then all at once or then suddenly at once. It was something like that. And that's how these things happen. So they steadily go along, and then suddenly, all at once, that floor is gone. Well, and it really only Top takes Shot. one whale to do it. Well, think about yeah, Top Shot, too, how that just, like, it was nothing for six, seven, eight months, and then just, bam, February happened. And, I mean, just to, like this, that's just how quick things can just explode. And it was all over TV. Not saying, chick, I mean, Chicken Derby be awesome, be all over TV, but. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing, too. Here's what you're going to understand. Cause, and, and, and I wonder if we would get more clarity on this, because if the chickens are now in beta, right, and you have to sign up for that, but anybody that's in, got a chicken right now is supposed to be able to get in, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Anybody, anybody who wants oh, in will get in. Yeah. Yep, Once the racing a... starts and there is no breeding, and and these are the only chickens you can race, these chickens are going to be worth more money. The minute and... the whistle goes off for racing, the first rooster crows mm-hmm. for the the chicken derby races start is when that floor is not going to be any turning back. You and know. and I'm excited because the marketplace will not be shut down during beta. Like the, we will be able exactly. to do the whole yep. gambit during this run, and we're gonna they're have gonna a worth way more money. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot to talk about. We're gonna be diving into that. That's gonna be that's gonna be probably the most nerve wracking time of just trying to see like, all right, when do you take profits? When do you decide just to hold forever? And just and and keep these as long as you want to. But um, right. so so all we're really saying is. It's it's be- it's better to be just a little bit early and make a mistake and and maybe not 
absolutely by the bottom, then be a little bit late. Because that little bit late could be really late, really quickly. Yeah. No, I agree. So, to breeding. Yeah, breeding. Um, since we now know that spices are the only spices, how, probably asking, how does the breeding go from there? Well, then the next one down would be robust, as you see there. And... It's a, it's kind of an original purebred chicken and a top performer for a spicy. So what makes me curious is if you breed a spicy sarama and a spicy sarama, you're likely to get a robust sarama. Um, I would agree with that. Yeah. I think that's going to be the case. Right. That's for pure breeding. So if you intermingle breeding, what we don't know is will you get a fresh or crisp out of breeding well these spices in the first round or is this no now now remember from and this is and maybe we need to get some clarity on this but from my understanding these are the number of generations removed now right it might the the first like generations two through four could be considered robust even depends on how they do it they could just have the second generation be robust but again if that's the case we're going to need something after bland pretty quick well, say you have a robust and you breed it with a spicy. Are you going to get a robust or are you guaranteed to get a fresh or? No, 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 no. So think of these as just the number of generations beyond. So it's just a label of names. Now, that robust could outperform those spicy parents. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm asking is, I guess, is what stock are you going to get out of the chicken if you breed, you know, a robust with a spicy, depending on the hand, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Are there? That's what, what it would determine. It, de it would depend on how many generations, like at the bottom there, where it says many generations removed from its mm -hmm. ancestors. Well, so that's what I was saying. Like a ro at some point, I, and it may not be the second generation. It may not be until the fifth generation that you get a fresh, or maybe, maybe a Sarama has a robust of generations two through eight, and then they kick into the fresh. And whereas a dorking has a robust of only two through third generation, and then they kick into a fresh. That's a good theory. Yeah, I, I, earlier on, I think it was the, even the first episode we did, I, I speculated we might see bland quickly. And, I, and I don't, that, 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 I'm hoping that we get a nice crop of robust, which for starters, because yeah, we're early. So we have the privilege of having the, the, the original 33,000. That's great. We still need to create a, a massive crop of robust and fresh before we even touch bland. So mm -hmm. I, I, I feel like we should see a lot of that early on, which is probably you know another reason, not that you really need another reason to really want to invest in these spices. But um, I feel like we're still going to see a, a large crop of robust come after this, if nothing else. And that will be kind of the next foundation of like the next group that comes in. I mean, at a certain point, like, uh, I mean, obviously once you, if that, if that is the case and you get that many generations out, we're talking like millions of chickens. <laughs> right. Right. And I mean, you'd almost think that no one would want to bland obviously with all these other options of robust or fresh, um, hell even crisp. I mean, do do you introduce like a burn feature or take those chicken, the bland chickens to the uh, butcher shop? <laughs> I, I think once there's bland only races, though, right? If you're if you can run bland only races, doesn't that make your bland chickens as valuable as the, any others? Right? Well, see, the best that's bland what, chicken around. Well, that's interesting because um, I, I forget that it was I forget that it was you, Blake, or that it was um, or there was Dave pecking order uh, raisin coop that was talking about this idea that pounding out these like 93s and 94s there's nothing wrong with that and and you don't and and you may be if you if you're just chasing 97s 98s 99s you you'll be going up against you know some tough competition based on where it's set up and you could have a 94 that just kicks ass in that in that uh, uh, those those races where it just stays in maybe it's like a so I'll be interested to see how the bracket is is it going to be like a 93 to 95 entrance like I really want I'll be interested to see exactly the type of formatting we see for who can 
come into a race and because you're not going to want people you're not going to want someone with a 90 to accidentally join a race with a bunch of hundreds and get white mm-hmm. that's just it's just it, that that's silly that's going to make someone well, kind of feel like why did i do that it, and it should be labeled pecker, though it's all based on the pecking order though so those a hundred that's true they've already got a 59 pecking order whereas those other ones got a 50 so the very first races right out of the gate is the only time you're going to see a hundred go up against a 90 right because those 90s are going to get beat and drop down below a 50. well well don't those well i think some of them are as low as 40 if i'm not mistaken well, okay, I, there I can, you go. Yeah, yeah, I can check real quick because no, i, I think right, i might not right. yeah yep so i guess that's oh. probably where it is that's probably the breakdown of seeing you know how that is how that's set up which i like because clearly if you have a it's, now that the interesting thing for me is now can a 92 kind of just become an excellent racer just because you know you've 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 set it up properly and it works really well on this terrain and it can beat a 97 because it's on the right terrain with the right distance i mean yeah right Right. Right. chicken yeah so there's there's absolutely where i i just know it um and it's easy to say that in hindsight we'll be the ultimate governor on this one but We'll be looking at these prices of 90s and 91s, and we'll be laughing at it. <laughs> we'll we'll be we'll be thinking about you know the fact that we just saw 0. 0.025 just sitting there, and wondering is like these are 90s. It's impossible to get a 90. There's going to be moments when we're looking a year or two down the line, and people are going to be like, "Oh, you got a 90? How'd you get a 90? Oh, this is original, mm-hmm. you know." And that's that's and yeah, 90 is going to be fun to have, for sure. I just, so yeah, which, uh, oh, so, go ahead. So that, so that kind of, yeah, le- leads us into um, when we were talking about just exactly how this breeding would work. Um, it was just, um, I lost my train of thought on that one. Sorry. Um, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. Um, right. Okay, right. Now, with the bidding process, I think this is an interesting one, too, because when you know people like we do in our, in, in our, in our coops and in our, in our, uh, you know, inner circle, if you will, or, and we're kind of adding different people that, you know, want to be a part of the coop collective and whatnot, we can kind of plan out who we want to, but you can also like, just put your, um, your chicken out at a stud price or a hen price. And then you're at, at, at the will of whoever accepts it. And that's where it could get that. That's where I'll be curious to see what will be the benefit of doing that or being a dorking paying up with a sarama like where's that benefit or or are you not going to see or are you going to see sarama prices just be way too high to deter people from wanting to do dorkings and trying to make dorkings and saramas like that's going to i'm going to be really interested to see how that starts um kind of developing over time kind of what i mentioned before in the chat i think you're going to see that dorking with stripes want to breed with that sarama Right? Don't you want to create a Sarama with stripes? That's interesting. Or, yeah. Or, so th- or, th- yeah. Or maybe, or maybe you know, maybe it's a, it, you know, or at least have that. That's why they. I think if we just know that if you breed X with X, you get X. Right. Then, you know. Right. Or X with X, you get Y. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's where maybe, that that's where the question comes in of you know, with when you breed a Dorking with a Sarama, are you guaranteed to get a Dorking, or is there that little bit of chance, like we've talked about, that you maybe could get a Sarama out of that? I, maybe. If they want to keep the longevity of the game going, I think you always got to have that chance to get a a top end chicken in the future. You know, I think that if they there there's got to be a way though they have to balance it for the the rareness of the the heritage itself like the Saramas and the Sultans are more rare birds so I I would think that percentage has got to be small enough to keep these 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 these, pit, the, these heritages say, balanced throughout the their lineage you know what I'm saying I, I would say it even whatever they set it at has to be scaled down to the even a lower percent than what it even is currently so like when it comes to the stripes, if there's like, what, two percent of chickens with stripes, then they only should have a one percent that comes out in breeding. You know, uh, of those with stripes, it has to be like even lower. They can't add more. So like, I, I there shouldn't end up being two percent with stripes, and then after breeding starts, all of a sudden the stripes are up to ten percent. You know, it's ten percent of the t- chickens have stripes. It just doesn't make right. sense that way. 
Yeah, the, I guess in the same way that, you know, gas has slippage, maybe there is a 2% slippage that could happen. And it's like, okay, because the numbers just played out that way. Um, it's, you know, not, not to keep referring back to Madden, but it's like a someone with a really bad break tackle can break the tackle of one of the best tacklers in the game. It, it, if the computation spit out the proper connection, that, that one in a million chance, it can happen. So there's going to be a little bit of slippage there, but... Um, I do think you'll you'll start to see a little bit of a little bit of predictability. It will at least be able to map that out and start to see, okay, I have a dorking black hole. I'm if I have a dorking black hole, are Saramas gonna wanna be interested in just going big? Like, yeah, I wanna see if we can't make a Sarama black hole. Yeah. Right. But also like think about the cosmetics too, like Blake you alluded to. There's only a thousand of these uh chickens that have stripes. And like the the alien eyes, there's only three hundred of them. What what percent is that? That is three percent for stripes. Okay, so then point nine percent for the eyes. In in the robust of breeding, there should be no more than five hundred max of stripe added to the pool. In the whole robust, out of all the you know, when you breed and you get a robust, right? No more should there should be no more than. I think if they kept the all-time percentage at 3%, that it would equal out. You know what I mean? As long as that correlated throughout time as as breeding continues over the years, as long as that number of chickens with stripes stays at 3%, I don't see a problem with it. They're still rare. Um, here's the thing I was curious about. Like the Coleman waddles that are, you know... Uh, attached to say like the the sultans or the saramas like the saramas got the teal waddle and comb or the sultan has a gold waddle and comb say you breed a lake lackenvelder or a dorking with the sultan or sarama can that comb and waddle be passed down and say you get a a, a, a lakenvelder or a or a dorking and it's eggshelled or it's green but it's got a a teal waddle or a teal Coleman waddle because it's got that Sarama right. breed mixed in with mm. it. Right, because the colors are are the colors are you know set to the rare ones are heritage. yes the, right, the rare right. ones are yes, and um, that's just I'm just curious about that like little details like that that you can see on the chicken that you can tell that you know maybe it's a dorking but you know that it's a second generation dorking and it, you can see that it was bred with a Sarama or it was. It, it, it might have like purple stripes on its white body or something because it was bred with a, a sultan, you know, things like that. Like, Here's another I don't know. Thing Curious. I don't think that you can always ble breed a black chicken with a black chicken and get a black chicken. Otherwise, there would be way more black chickens. You might get a white chicken. <laughs> That'd be awkward. But what happens? <laughs> you, get a, you get a black and white striped chicken? maybe or what you know do you get like I are there black wonder, are there black chickens with white stripes i don't know but I, I think that maybe i wonder if there's going to be variables of colors so like if you breed a black with a white you get a gray chicken is there a new color that comes out or do they always stay with these same colors there's a white chicken with black stripes hmm, interesting but, yeah, I think the breeding, I, again, kind of back to the Madden thing, I, I think a lot of the breeding, when it says that the generations below could be better than their parents, meaning you could get a better perfection score than its parents. And I've been thinking about a lot of this, too, because I think the, the breed of the Saramas are going to, have more of a boost to the perfection score of the baby than say the right. Door. Yeah, I'd I'd actually mentioned that too in the chat earlier today when we were kind of jostling that idea around like say you breed a ninety dorking and a ninety Sarama, what it spits out a ninety five dorking because it's or, or eighty five Sarama. True. Or is Sarama always ninety plus? Do you see what I'm saying? Right. It, and, and I mean, you, but I think it should be, there should be a percent of both, you know, maybe a small percent that it's that 85 Sarama. Right. And, and, but 
I don't know. I just think that there's got to be something to carry on that genetic history a little bit. You got to have a chance, right? Somewhere down the lineage. Yeah, we were speculating about um, Sarama staying above ninety, and I guess that's I guess that's gone now. I guess that has to be. There's, there's right. just I think there's just too many at that point. Um, and I think we were also so speculating at that point that he might be able to breed a spicy, and we know we can't do that now. So right. We definitely um, can't breed a spicy. Right. But no, Kenan, right. You, we know, I mean, we're pretty sure you can breed another Sarama. Oh, for sure. Right? I mean, so, but does that mean that you right. can only get another Sarama by breeding two Saramas together? I hope not. I hope there's a 0.05% chance <laughs> that when you, you know, breed with a Dorking and a Sarama, you get a... But that's still, yeah. that may still play into later down the line when the Sarama had... Um, had bred with so many different ones, and there's a little bit of Sarama blood yeah. still in there. Mm-hmm. Like I still like that. I'm not sure if we'll ever see. I'm not, I'm not sure if you were saying this either, but a Sarama come from nothing. You know, two Lackenvelders no, no, create a Sarama. But yeah, no, 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 no. You yeah. gotta have it in its genetic right, right? or right. bred with another Sarama. You, you, you gotta have uh... to add add to the possibility yeah. that it comes out of Sarama. Yeah. No, I like that. I, f- I feel like it, it. It's definitely possible. It should be. But so I think that's going to come a lot to the breeding strategies, or you know, maybe you breed. Look at the colors of the classic chicken. That maybe it takes four generations to get down before you actually are able to. And one cl- classic chicken pops out of your, your hen. All you know, it, right. that would be, pretty sweet. People would be ecstatic if they little little baby cracks out of the egg and it's a classic, you know. <laughs> yeah, because at, at some sure. point, at some point, a little bit of that nostalgia is going to kick in. A, a little bit of even just that, yeah. um, um, the vanity of it. Like it's it's still going to happen. I'm I'm still. I almost bought another Sarama today, but it also has sad eyes. And they're my like, besides the googly eyes. They're my like the sad eyes and the googly eyes are my least favorite. And it's like, well, don't be an idiot. Don't base this just on the eyes. Now the eyes might mean something. We don't yep. know that yet. We've speculated we, we, that we have. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get into that. I'm sure in later episodes. As far as like, and of course, once we learn some new information, you know, we'll find out about that as well. Um, but yeah, that the, the, the aesthetics are going to matter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give some breaking. What I think that's not been talked about at all that has something to do with something, and. Yeah, Blake's been brewing. That, He's been huh? brewing on these. You, the, you've been brewing on these things. Yeah, yeah, I saw the guy that posted in the chat about his background color. He thought it was off. Did y'all see that? Where it was kind of faded and out, but it's it's really how it's supposed to be. He's a lava background. Right. 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 There's ocean backgrounds. There's this. Those, I think, are being way slept on. We once we find out what the meaning is of that. You know, maybe your chicken only runs good at daytime. Maybe your chicken only runs good at night. Yeah, that is that is the see that is the thing about NFTs that are so fun is that every single piece of this is is well thought out of beforehand, and the percentages that go into each one of these things, which is why you look at nose rings and you look at eye patches and you look Bam. at uh, vampire teeth and you and you just say, man, like they don't mean anything to us right now. But why did they decide, besides just for fun, and now if it was just for fun, there would be a whole litany of different types of these interesting aesthetics. But there's not. There's, there's two just a, of yeah, each. Yeah. So, and, and, and of the stripes, there's not that many. So it, it, there has to be something in there. And I really, I really do feel like it's worthy like, to make some type of gamble there. Maybe not go all in, but if like if you don't have any stripes in your coop and you have one of the you have a coop that's ten to twenty birds and you don't have any stripes, you should probably try to look for, try to grab one. Mm-hmm. You should probably try to grab at least one of each one of these because it, you're going to be kicking yourself at some point if it comes out and it's like, well, they were right there. Yep. Yeah. And another thing that uh, you may want to get uh, one of each of these things if it's possible within your wallet is uh, the talents. Uh, we did hear this week that uh, from Chicken Derby Apex that a one to two talents would be deployed per race, and 
it would uh, pretty much be what from what I gathered, uh, random deployment or any chickens fair game. It's just random, one or two. De- you know, so what we were we're worried about, uh, you know, like the rare, the very rare talents like black hole and royal procession. I think, I think what he means though is it's random. But that still could be a percent of randomness that a black hole comes out. I don't know. You know yeah, because that's would that's that devalue the it though? To... Still though, we talked about this. So again, like if it's Listen, if it isn't going to happen very often, is it worth it to go after it? Yeah. Well, but hold. Here's the thing though. Let's say, let's say that it guarantees you twenty wins out of a hundred that it gets deployed. That's pretty much worth it. Right, but well, who's yeah. to say that you're 20 out of 100 chances to have your talent deployed in any given race? I mean, you know, depending on the number of chickens per race and whatever that randomness is, if it's just like, oh, I'm well, going to pick if, chicken in lane four, boop. Think about <laughs> this. If, my, if I have a chicken and I've got the CK47, let's say, right, and it comes out and it gets deployed 40 times out of 100, but I only win five out of those hundred races. How good is the? I just had an idea. What if it? Uh, what if we take that a step further? What if the race, when you enter your chicken to said race, it uh, when it when it picks when it's time for a talent to be deployed, it uh, randomizes through all the talents, and each talent has a percentage of being fired. And, and then, okay, so say it, it, it rolls a dice and it lands on rollerblades. And there's two chickens that have rollerblades. And then it picks between those two chickens which one's going to get deployed. Yep. Yep. Oh. Has this one been deployed 20 times versus 10? You know, it may, it may <clears throat> optim- optimize it that way. You know what I'm saying? Or it doesn't. Well, right. But, you, you, know, so, you know, just think about this. A very rare talent, say it's get, it, uh, in any race. So, okay, so let's say you got like a five or even a less, say th- a, th- a 5% chance that your talent gets deployed if you got a black hole or royal procession. And then it goes all the way down to common talents because you'd think yeah. the common talents would get deployed more often because it's a, a roll. Like I, I think of it like you just said, like a slot machine, like a roll. Yeah. Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cooper, chicken in lane two because it knows how many, or it takes all the talents yeah. for the birds that are in the race and then it yeah. randomizes them. That's well, on exactly that note, on that note, beyond just um, beyond just the deployment percentage, because that's huge. Like, I'll be really curious to find out if they give us any kind of data about the oh, deployment percentage and exactly how that goes. And that's fine, and that's good. You know, I'd let you know that's going to be something we have to figure out ourselves. But when we look at this, um, and I kind of uh, I, I went a step further than just last week. I had mentioned that there were ten that appeared to have single effects or just on their own and then 10 that had multiples. So then I broke it down and saw, okay, for the commons, there are seven, I didn't want, yes, there are seven of them, Anvil, Blue Rooster, Chicken of Bolt, Cooper, Flight, Growth, Rollerblades, and Teleporter, which appear to only affect you, and those are all common. Mm-hmm. So seven of the 10 commons appear to only affect your bird or one other bird like Anvil would. And then in the uncommon, you have Blue Egg, and with the rares, you have moving walkway. After that, all the ones that have the multiple effects, you have three of the uncommons, both of the rares. Um, well, you know, all, you know, all three of no, both two of the rares, not moving walkway, both of the legendaries, of course. And then, of course, Machete, Jetpack, and CK-47 seem to be affecting multiple chickens. Right. So when I start looking at that and I start thinking – the, the the basis of how these get deployed and then the winning percentage that Blake was talking about probably matters even more well, because percentage even you know maybe right just podium percentage finish. yeah do you end up in a top three situation when you when when these are deployed and how much they do affect and then the percentage that they do affect and I and that's why when I looked at um that's why when I looked at the rare floor 
had dropped a little bit, I was thinking that's that's frustrating. Like they have to affect more because if it's not just based on that, we have to assume that the commons have the lowest amount of damage or the lowest impact on how a race finishes. Uncommon a little bit more, rare more, and then legendary should be, you know, a a almost not almost guaranteed, but a much higher percentage guaranteed win. Well, I mean so, it, it even says for say like Black hole, the most devastating force in the universe. Unleash a powerful black hole that'll suck in your opponents, giving your chicken a chance for victory. Those, it still says chance. Yeah. But I, I Again, I think if it comes out 20 times, let's say, I think that's too much, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe 10 times out of 100. But if you win eight out of those 10 and you finish in the podium the other two, that's still your chance of winning and you still banked with your black hole you know what i'm saying right yeah and 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 it it almost makes you wonder like if i have a if i have like a a bird that's not a great racer but has black hole that's that's kind of a tricky one like that might be a better bird to start breeding instead of racing because they're not going to win that often they will win when the black hole hits but you don't you don't get it that often and your bird's not a great racer to begin with right and it could pass it on to a better chicken down the Mm -hmm. line yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, one, something to think about, though, is like when these lower traits get deployed, you may have a chicken that doesn't even deploy a trait win the race. Oh, but for when sure. The black holes deployed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I think you're still going to have chickens that don't deploy anything finish on the podium. Oh, for sure. I, none of these talents guarantee you a win. That's right. That's the other thing. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we, we very well, we very well could see these very rare talents deployed at a normal rate because if it doesn't guarantee a win it might be more devastating over below but we don't know how long these last it could be you know for two seconds and then all like just just enough to get you to the front of the pack Mm -hmm. and then all the chickens are behind you and then the race continues as normal well maybe this too maybe and this is something i just thought of Maybe those very rare talents have an impact on more people, more racers at once, whereas the other ones, the top ones, may only affect one or two racers. Yeah, at the moment, you know, when I look at moving walkway and it's like it seems pretty self-explanatory and the write up doesn't really say anything ancillary happens to other chickens, but it might. We don't know. But at the moment, it appears like it doesn't. But the ones that do, maybe they are maybe they, they don't quite affect as much like when i think about you know just just um where was it just just cooper it is a, a, you know with a, a uber that picks you up and shoots you up a little bit further you know if if Can black you- hole is at the bottom and black hole hits off and cooper hits off and black holes at the bottom sucks a whole bunch of people down but then the top chicken at the top of the race isn't affected by the black hole and has cooper hit then all of a sudden you have an uncommon i'm sorry a common that could actually win that race just because of where they were. So there's a little bit of a, you know, there's going to be chance. There's going to be a lot of yeah. chance, really. Still well, like, mixed in. like, think about this. Like, we, like, so, like, moving walkway, for instance, a crack construction crew will quickly, quickly turn your chicken's lane into a luxury moving walkway. Okay. So that obviously takes up space. Do the chickens in the lanes on the outside hit these workers and get knocked that's back? That's possible. Yeah. That's possible. Or like Royal yeah. Procession. Royal Procession doesn't necessarily say that it, takes any of the other chickens out it just oh, says it, it rolls out a red I, carpet with a horse with a golden horse drawn carriage will guide your chicken to the front of the pack the i think other, on the secondary uh write up where they put out the animation okay. one they said that the guards and knights that are holding up oh, knock everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. over and out of the way now. yeah art yeah so yeah our description yep but yeah like i mean de- devolution i mean it runs and eats the chickens near it Cold yeah. snap, I assume, hits multiple chickens that are nearby. You know, it, yep. these are like, does black hole suck in all lanes? How big is this black hole? Is it only like three, four lanes wide? Does it pull in three or four? These are things we won't know until we're actually racing. By the but, way, when you bring up Devolution, did you see the new uh, updated video? I haven't. It, yeah, he posted it earlier today. It's pretty cool. He oh, turns nice. Into, it turns into lizard eyes, which is... Oh, right. Yeah, I did see that the lizard eyes do pop up, and when the lizard eyes pop up, he runs faster. And yeah. it's like, I wasn't sure if that was... And now, that got me a little bit. I was like, wait a second. I think he's, I think he's chomping when he's got the lizard eyes, so I think he's eat, maybe maybe going to take some... Biting at people. Off. 
Yeah, yeah I, I thought I thought I saw the legs moving faster, which made me think, wow, the chicken eyes move faster. But, you know, that's just it's baseline animation. So who knows? You know, they, they yeah. can change that at any minute. But I couldn't help but but notice that, you know, but the lizard eyes uh, so, did something. So back to the this original question is, should you diversify your talents? I think you should. Hashtag uncommon talents. The floors on some of these uncommon talents are just above mint. I mean, really. Yeah. And they should not be. <laughs> Obviously, the rare talents are up there a ways, but the the uncommon talents are definitely like blue egg dig fan group helicopter jetpack. Those are all hanging out a, a, like a, in the uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.04. Actually, the uncommon talent floor when I looked this morning was 0 0.0275 for like 90s that are uncommon. Blue eggs, blue eggs, a touch. Um, rarer when you actually look and it might that might equal out when they drop the rest of them i don't know but at this moment blue egg is only like 693 i think so it's the rarest of the uncommons yeah. uh but yeah there, there's cheap ones everywhere they're the ones that i find hardest to hold back from when i find a 95 or a 96 and it has an uncommon and it's like wow it just this is like screaming at me and especially when the next two or three ahead of it are 95s and 96s with commons and they're more expensive I've gotten my chicken coop up to 24 chickens. And today I was like, oh, I'm going to go look for some more uncommon talents. And the blue egg uncommon talent is a hen exclusive ability. Mm -hmm. And what I liked about that was, is I've got a whole slew of roosters hanging out in my coop. I had, I needed to add a couple hens and there were a couple like right above mint price. I think I got both of them for around 0.035. Those were Lake of Elders, right? Yep. I think I saw. Yeah, you grabbed you grabbed yep. two of those. Yeah. Yeah, they were ninety. Uh, yeah, they were nineties, but still, a, an uncommon talent could be make your chicken beat a ninety two, ninety three well, range. You never know. We don't know these things. We well, we, that we might speculate. Be a reason to even if it's not a good racer, it might be a reason to breed that with right. a sultan. So you give that sultan hen a blue egg. Well, I guess no, that didn't matter. that didn't make sense because it can only be a hen. You can't. We already said the same but thing. if it's got that, if it's got blue egg and that is a hen exclusive ability and you pass on those abilities, it gives you a better chances of having another hen egg. Oh, yeah, yeah. You you could have a hen egg that has blue egg, right? For yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, we are getting about yeah, to the end of this podcast, I think. Um, yeah. Move, next week, we're going to we're going to sort this out a little bit. We're going to get ourselves. um locked in with maybe something that lets us extend this a little bit longer, start at a better time. Josh has it all set up now. He's been working hard to get this going. I think we have the right setup now. Um, but we're coming down to the end. Uh, we have a lot more we want to talk about, but we don't. We have to stretch this out just a little bit before we get to racing. So I think we're going to call it there. Um, we will. Uh, this wasn't live tonight, but we will get this on YouTube. And we obviously it'll be a podcast per usual. Yep. So everyone can check it out. And, you know, maybe on this next podcast, we'll have a guest. Maybe once we get this, that's the thing. We want to get this sorted out so we can have a guest and we can feel comfortable to make this and, and keep this going long term. So for sure. Um, yeah. If from, you, uh, follow uh, us on uh, Cock Talk Derby uh, on Twitter, right up there in the top right corner. And uh, I'm going to throw this up there. If you, if you guys have any other questions or don't know anything about what's going on, there's this nice little game insights page you can go to, and it gives you a whole breakdown of a whole bunch of different stuff like talents and uh, different types of chickens. And, you know, it's uh, just gr some great information outside of the announcements page. Um, just wanted to throw that out there. Yep. Jam. And until, until next time, um, from Blake. From Josh, Tyler, appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Deuces. Cock talk.